Hello everyone, quite late, end of the day. I meal prep yesterday, which I normally do on a Sunday. I just didn't have time with shop timings and stuff. So, that's what I'm gonna do tonight. So I'm gonna show you how I sort of plan it out, how to make sure I just manage to spend the least amount of money, but get all the stuff I need in my meals and how I plan. Some meals just don't really work as meal prep, but I'm gonna show you that. Also, I just washed my hair. Um, I'm not looking the finest, I do apologize, but hopefully this is gonna help give you some ideas, some inspiration. First thing I do is I actually have this little planner. Why did I stick my tongue out there? Oh and it's a positivity journal and it's where I do all my journaling and stuff. But what I do find extremely useful with it, at the beginning of each week, it basically has all the like snacks and lunch and dinner. Any of your shopping list there, put my meals in and look at what will be in the meals, put the shopping list there, take a photo, then go to the supermarket where I get my recipe, inspiration and stuff, and meal prep stuff. I basically, Instagram's a big, big place where I Go on your saved. If you go on there, I'll probably see some of my friends on here. Let's see. This blitz. Um, I save recipes on, on my phone and I also look at online stuff. So Mob Kitchen's really good. In terms of meal prep, good ones are a curry. Pasta can be good, but things that have a lot of sauce because the thing is when you put something in the fridge, it and freezer it tends to lose a lot of like liquid like i've had pastas that have gone quite dry i am planning on making a like bibimbap it's kind of always just get pesto pasta and like a protein sauce as like a random lunch thing and so make probably a curry the beauty of the meals that i tend to make is that i can freeze them um so that works quite nicely <laughs> So, the list has been made. Time to go to the shops. I'm gonna dry my hair first. I'm gonna do that. And then we will go to the shops. for the curry for tonight. I'm crediting Made by Blitz picture of his curry here. She put the link below. I've made it for my family before and they absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna make that butter chicken curry using what the cluck, my favorite vegan chicken. And then I'm gonna make a tofu for like lunches and stuff. I find like rice, I tend to go for like a sticky rice with like some variation of protein. Again, we'll credit the recipe. I think that's paying vegan munch. So thank you very much guys for those. And I got these, these honestly are game changing. One pound 50 for three, woo! <laughs> gonna air fry the chicken obviously because it's gonna be sat in the sauce for a few days i don't really like when it goes like soft and mushy so i'm gonna crisp it up and then hopefully that will prevent that from happening kitchen's tiny sorry for all the like bags and stuff put the recipe like here the cheaper version for all my students out there i've got to put on some rice, 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 rice. So for rice, guys, obviously for rice, we're gonna go over the serving sizes. I'm gonna go for a solid 100 grams of rice. Mm. 
can't go out far enough as I can. Woo. Now I've got that on. Let's go. What we need to do. How are you saying that? What we need to do is actually pour in the chicken and leave it to bubble a bit. Oh, um, sweater. Move on to the tofu dish whilst that's cooking. Oh my god. It's hot. It's getting heated in this kitchen. Uh, I've got curry for dinner. This tofu bibimbap as lunch and then brownies as snacks nine or ten they go in about two days if that maybe even a day all that pour in today ready got four portions of rice here i'm gonna put them in here Rice number two is bubbling. Tofu is looking nice and cooked. And then in the bowl, I'm literally just gonna put some cucumber, some beets, and some kimchi. Guys, if you have not gotten the kimchi hype, oh my God, it is so good. So with stuff like cucumber and vegetables, I tend to not add them to like the day of I actually want them in the meal, just because they kind of ferment a little bit. So that's another little tip for you guys. Turn it up to 180. One thing I didn't do in my meal prep was make my brownies. So I'm gonna make them now. I actually don't think I've ever put the official recipe on Instagram. So I will be posting that, but I'm gonna put it on this YouTube video first. So if you're here, you have the secret <coughs> recipe first. So easy, obviously I will show you all the ingredients. I've turned on the oven and it's super, it super, tastes like 20, 20 minutes. Easy. These are the main ingredients I use. My freezing flour, my vegan soy protein I say too. Any vegan protein will work, but this works so well because it's so sweet. I then got some coconut powder. I put in peanut butter or like coconut oil or butter to be honest, like any fat um, that will make it nice and moist. And then we got some chocolate chip. Having to do it in a loaf tin because our brownie tin is broken. A brownie loaf, but you'll get the gist. So here she is. I'll literally just slice her up and then store her in an airtight container. But how delicious does that look? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I guess that takes us to the end of my whole meal prep YouTube video. I can do more of these if you guys enjoy them. But I hope that gives an idea um, and provides some inspiration, you know. Curries, you can also like pre-do your snacks everything like that then obviously for breakfast I'll have like overnight oats classic and then have all my my vegan snacks as well in the day but that is me find me over at my instagram live living life I'm gonna love you and leave you guys and catch you all next week